this party started. A little bit of a snag, it turned out the uh, new pedo tube cover that I got uh, to replace the last one that had blown away a long, long time ago. Uh, it was on and the mechanic was running it up to do some stuff, turned on the pedo heat and it melted the pedo tube cover to the pedo tube. So got that resolved, got some fuel, all good to go. So it's been a pretty fun summer. A lot of it was actually spent on the ground getting some of these electrical problems fixed. But uh, you, know, you guys got to see all these fun adventures around the southwest, kind of just going to crazy places that you can only get to by airplane. And now we're just going to do more of that. So uh, I'm going to make a, a little trip around the Midwest. Terrain I'm going to go out to New York so we're okay. some fun places along the way. So I'm just leaving my, my hometown here, Aberdeen, South Dakota. Um, just, just so much fun coming up, you guys. We're going we're gonna to check out some incredible places, little like secluded islands in the middle of Lake Michigan that like nobody knows about. Uh, all sorts of fun places in the Midwest and head down to Triple Tree in South Carolina, head out to the Reno Air Races, just all kinds of stuff. And it's uh, it's all coming right here. Also, super excited to be partnering with Bose, helping make this content possible. And uh, awesome, awesome headset. People have been asking me for a long time uh, what my favorite headset is. Over the years, I've tried a lot of different headsets. I've gone between them, just sort of as new ones came out, I'd like to try them. And uh, so I've, I've tried all sorts of different ones. But I've always just liked the, the sound quality and the comfort of the bow is the best. Like the sound quality is absolutely the best, bar none. Controls, instruments, gas, attitude, run up, seat belts, switches, safety. Aberdeen traffic, Bonanza, Seven Hotel, Mongo, departing runway 13, Aberdeen. I'm gonna pick up Owen in Minneapolis, gonna grab a bite to eat. If you haven't met Owen, watch more of my videos and check him out on Instagram at SJC Spotter. Check out this awesome airport restaurant there. Head up to Duluth tomorrow or tonight, depending on the weather. Uh, just all kinds of awesome stuff. Wind's basically calm. The uh, airspeed is indicating basically the same as our ground speed, so that's good. Twerking. Everything is still in the green. Go ahead and get the gear up. Now the weather could be a little tricky today. There's some rain showers, potential for some thunderstorms later. That might prevent us from going to Duluth tonight. Um, or even possibly from checking out this cool airport restaurant Number tonight. Number 8384 Echo, contact Minneapolis we'll see what Center 127.35. Good day. Minneapolis Center, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, Minneapolis Center. Yeah, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa, is just off Aberdeen, climbing through 2400, looking for an IFR to Flying Cloud. Bonanza 7 Hotel Papa, Roger, cleared to Flying Cloud via direct, climb and maintain 9000, squawk 4236. Cleared to Flying Cloud via direct, maintain 9000, squawk 4236, Bonanza 367 Hotel Papa. So uh, after months of troubleshooting these electrical problems, um, which had continued after the loose bolt on the bus bar no, in Reno on the way to Reno, and uh, we'll corrosion in it. the field wire to the alternator, and so replacing that seems to have fixed everything. But all kinds of things along the way over the last like six months have seemed to have fixed the problem, and then turned out not to, or the problem came back. Maybe for other reasons, that'd be a hell of a coincidence, but whatever it is, now it is finally been steady and working for several flights. But so as a seven hotel keeps operator up. contact about five miles east of Aberdeen, a water tunnel altimeter, two nine seven four, stay altitude. Uh, two nine seven four that checks are climbing through three thousand six hundred bands of three six seven hotel papa. Roger, thank you. So uh, also in, in doing some of this troubleshooting and stuff. Yeah, so the panels down here with like the switches and the circuit breakers and stuff have these uh, electroluminescent backlights so that you can so the labels you know are, are lit up in the dark and uh, for whatever reason this leftmost panel the uh, lights stopped working so it, it's like a whole panel that you have to send in so uh, now ready. instead of a panel down here at the moment we've just got a little piece of paper paper copy of the panel but yeah it's been a fun summer though uh, I didn't get to do a ton of flying because the plane's mostly been in maintenance uh, but went to Oshkosh did the Bonanzas to Oshkosh arrival again. I decided not to vlog it this year because like, well, I just did it last year. You know, I'll show it again next year or something. 
And then it turned out to just kind of be this little bit of a mess. It was, a, it was like a very organized, well-coordinated, well-prepared mess. But basically we were flying largest formation ever. It's the world record for the largest civilian formation. Like 150 airplanes were flying to Oshkosh. And as we, got, as we approached Oshkosh, uh, the field went IFR. So we had to divert to Fond du Lac, uh, which wasn't really something that we had completely like briefed or, or really planned for, particularly like as a straight in. That's a real mess today. We're diverting to Fond du Lac because uh, Oshkosh just went IFR. People are breaking out of the formation, going to the back of the line because spacing sucks. I'm not sure how this echelon procedure is going to work on the left base instead of a downwind, but uh, it's going to be interesting. So basically, we just had this like swarm of airplanes sort of curving around, trying to make a downwind, going everywhere. Uh, at one point, like, uh, our, I was supposed to lead this year, but I didn't get there in time, so all the lead spots were already taken. So our lead uh, kind of broke us off. We were trying to figure out, just trying to get out of this mess until it calmed down and then come back in. But I mean, there, we're let, you know, it's, it's, the weather was all fairly low, so we're flying along at like 500 feet. There's like an element of three going this way, an element of three going that way, and we're all just, you know, kind of dodging each other. We called it the Battle of Fond du Lac. But uh, it was a ton of fun. You know, it was just like a testament to you kind of the, the planning and preparation that does go into it to get you prepared for these situations that no one had really thought of, that had never happened before. Uh, and it's, we still got like 125 airplanes to Fond du Lac. Uh, the other ones diverted to other nearby airports, but uh, it was that was a lot of fun. And then of course Oshkosh, fantastic time getting to see everybody. Uh, it cut a little short for me this year, but uh, it was still, still pretty fun. And just kind of troubleshooting. A little bit of flying here and there. It's really just been on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. You'll get to see even more flights. Because I can't, this, this is a lot of all these cameras, you know. It's a big setup, a lot of work to edit everything. So I can't vlog every single flight yet. But if you join Patreon, you can help me like, get to that point. Uh, and I'll also get all sorts of cool rewards. But yeah, so we're climbing up to 9,000 feet today. Uh, should have a nice little bit of a tailwind. Heading over to Minneapolis. Got a little bit of weather here. I gotta stop in Flying Cloud in Eden Prairie to pick some stuff up. So I'm gonna stop there, uh, dodge a little bit of this weather, and then uh, grab a courtesy car, go pick something up, and then fly over to St. Paul. Where I'm gonna meet Owen, we're gonna grab dinner. And then hopefully we're gonna fly up to Duluth. But right now, you know, there's some weather in here. We'll see how that develops uh, as the evening goes on. This party started, I got the music playing loud How you like my outfit? I have to say I'm kinda proud I got my dancing shoes on, and I'm feeling dangerous Let's get this party started, yeah we gon' be adventurous We got some rain up ahead And kind of rain all over in there But it's just, we're just showing some pretty light stuff here Wouldn't be too much of a problem The rest of the panel gets all nice and lit up and then over here, lit up, dark. Really pretty skies out here tonight. Those storms off in the distance there. Epic sunset over the lakes back there. Approach Bonanza 7 Hotel Pampa has the airport. November 37, 367 Hotel Papa. Create a visual approach, runway 18, contact. Flying Cloud. Or did you want one zero right or one eight? It looks like they're advertising one eight. I just want to make sure before I let you go. If we can get one zero right, we'll take that. Okay, cleared visual approach one zero right. Stay with me. I'm just going to call them. Let you know. Let them know you're coming in to the right there. Okay, clear visual one zero right. We'll stay with you. Sit on top. Sister Zulu, Zulu, Romeo, one eight, clear to land. Uh, one eight clear to land. Seven three nine zero zero. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, Bob, fun good turn early. 1-8, clear for takeoff. Left turn proof. 1-8, left turn. Clear for takeoff. Nancy, 3 6 7 tell Bob. Yeah. <laughs> like, is it starting to rain? Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> Minneapolis departure at Anza 3670 Hotel Pop. This comes through 1400. Look for Bravo Clearance to St. Paul. For 367 Hotel Pop and Minneapolis departure, ident, altimeter is 29 or 79. Ident, 29 or 79, Minneapolis 7 Hotel Pop. Hotel Pop, your radar contact a mile southeast of the St. Paul Airport. Climb and maintain BFR 3500. You're cleared into cross Bravo airspace. 3500, cleared into the Bravo 7 Hotel Pop. Uh, that's a very nice view of the city. Yeah. Do you see what I mean about like how close these? Oh yeah. How close the line everything is. Okay, gives to the green. Everything is good. the alternator. Are you serious? Yeah. See that? What? Yeah, I see the uh... Recycle that before we do the gear. Okay. It's, it's literally, I mean, it's so crazy how like every time we actually find something that is definitively wrong <laughs> and it doesn't fix the problem. Well, it's doing okay now at 28 yeah. volts. Yeah, well I mean it's always just on on the takeoff roll or immediately after takeoff. The rest huh. of the time it always works fine. Our sun on top of a radar contact, 8 miles northeast of St. Paul cleared uh, to Duluth via direct climb and maintain 900,000. Clear to Duluth via direct maintain 900,000, that checks, I'm going to tell Papa. Interesting. That, my that lightning was not in the fourth flight thing huh. that I was looking at. It's like a whole little line of lightning. Oh yeah, it's going off everywhere. Approach command the 7 Hotel Papa. What? Yeah, what are you showing for weather up ahead? So light precipitation for you uh, in about uh, 10 to 15 miles and it's kind of patchy. Um, I don't know, can we go around this somewhere? Should we just stay in Minneapolis tonight? Yeah. Up to you, man. Citation 1 November Delta, descend to maintain 3,000. 
I mean, we're not gonna, we're obviously, this is, that's really strange. Yeah. So we got light precipitation, lightning just everywhere, and we're seeing it in like every direction up ahead. So I'm not liking this. Actually, hold this, let's try about 90 degrees Excellent. left. Call Papa, contact Minneapolis Center, 121.05. Uh, 2105 and 712, actually, if we want about 90 degrees left, are they gonna, will that be with us, or with them, or would it be better to stay with you? Do you want to turn like west? Yes, yeah, affirmative, 7 on top. 7 on top, Papa, turn left, heading 270. Left 270, 7 on top, Papa. Yeah, we just got lightning in every direction up ahead. Okay, um, Roger. Zero four, Foxtrot, how's it going? Doesn't sound like he's aware of that either. Precipitation at 12 o'clock, 5 miles, extending about 2 zero miles in diameter. We would be there in about a half hour. And there's still all of this stuff right there. Visual approach from right one zero right flying cloud. Report drive park cancellation there. This frequency on the ground via the remote. I mean, we can fly around for a while and see what happens, but so five fifty five turn left track dining room. Increasingly difficult. Seven hotel Papa, I show if you turn north, that'll keep you still west of the weather, but uh, so your discretion, climb maintain nine hundred thousand. Yeah, seven hotel. We'd actually just like to divert to flying cloud. Delta 297, Minneapolis departure, radar contact, climb and maintain, one thousand. Roger. We're in the range. Hotel, Pop, Hotel Pop, you're cleared to flying cloud via present heading, descend and maintain, four thousand. Uh, down to four thousand uh, to flying cloud, and can we get a left turn for seven hundred pop? Seven hotel pop affirmative. Turn left, uh, heading two five zero. Maintain uh, four thousand. Is that far enough? Can we make it two four zero? Affirmative. Look at this. We're at like cruise power setting. Hey, we're we're doing one hundred sixteen <laughs> knots. That's like, insane. Oh, we're getting pounded right now. Oh, what was that? St. Paul traffic, about a 329 degrees on the turn left. We're going to go further left. Yeah, in a second. And a beat. 4 whiskey's here, descend to maintain 3,000. Down to 3,000, 4 whiskey's here. And for a 7-hour pop, we need further left. 7 hotel pop, approved. Do you want to go south and then back over the top of Minneapolis? I can do that. Yeah, let's do that for 7-hour pop. 7 hotel pop, a turn left heading 160, maintain 4,000. One six zero four thousand seven hotel Papa. Yeah, that weather. I mean, that's that's crazy. That's yeah, pretty gnarly. I mean, we were getting like tremendous downdraft in light precipitation, getting lightning in light precipitation, and then the weather in Duluth is just not doing anything like what it was looking like, you know, 20 minutes ago when we took off. So this, this just took a <laughs> an interesting, very interesting turn. Seven hotel Papa's look better than four. Seven and five Bay Firm, yeah, that we were just getting tossed all over the place in that light precip and lightning all over. Okay. That's just bizarre. Okay, I got him there. Are you guys staying in the pattern? Affirmative. The wind up here is 199 at 40, and we're at 1,000 oh. feet. I always hate people who are following people who fly like a really wide pit. Like, I would, oh, I would no. be turning base right now. Right? We're getting Three single nice is still on the runway, yeah. blind call traffic. Okay, we got well. you in sight. Okay. He is clear enough. We okay. are clear of the runway. Uh, blind call traffic. Perfect That's time. About. Traffic, 4 o'clock, same altitude, 0 miles. Okay, so tonight did not go at all the way that I thought it was gonna go. Earlier, I didn't think there was any chance we'd actually get to Duluth anyway because of the weather, the forecast up there. But then we got done eating at St. Paul and it actually looked pretty good. I thought we were gonna make it. Looked like we had a clear shot. We got in the, got in the air and we were showing a bunch of, of lightning that, on the uh, XM that wasn't there when we looked at the weather, you know, a couple minutes before we took off. And then we started seeing lightning everywhere. And so there was just this light precip. We got tossed all over the place and it had lightning everywhere. I've never really seen anything quite like it, but we're going to call it a night and just stay here at Flying Cloud.